Welcome to Electron Online. By now we know that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times the radius, or we can say it's pi times the diameter. Same equation essentially, since we know that the diameter is twice the radius. So what we can then do is we can define the number pi by taking the circumference and dividing it by the diameter. So if you take a circle and you measure the circumference and you measure the diameter and you take the circumference and divide it by the diameter, you will get the number pi. But of course, you can't measure it perfectly and so you really can't get the exact number for pi. And so that was always a big mystery. How do we figure that number out? We can do it experimentally, but then we can also maybe do it mathematically. And a number of individuals in the past figured out how to calculate the number pi to a very accurate result to many decimal places. So one of the ways in which it was done is called the Leibniz infinite series for pi. So he figured out that pi over 4 was equal to 1 minus a third plus a fifth minus a seventh plus a ninth plus one minus 111 plus 113 and on and on and on. Of course if you do that for a very long period of time the number you get up you end up with of course then you have to multiply all that by 4, by four so maybe we can write it like this and you'll get a fairly accurate result for pi. And the farther you go out, the more decimal places you will get. So out of five decimal places, the number pi is 3.14159. Just keeps going and there's, it's not a repeating decimal. So in order to find it to many decimal places, you just need to keep calculating it. Nowadays, of course, they use computers for that. But for most of us, it's sufficient to simply say that pi is approximately equal to 3.14. We just drop everything else off. And that's close enough for our, re for our purpose. We don't need to be that accurate. We just need to know how to use it. And so there we go. That's the relationship between pi and the circumference of a circle. If you simply, again, measure the circumference of a circle, divide by the diameter, you will end up with a number very close to this if you do it very carefully. And that is how it's done.